Hey everybody, it's your girl T. Lee Vision. Thank you for enjoying my Side Chick Chronicles. Do me a favor, go to my YouTube channel and hit like, subscribe, and share these videos for me. T. Lee Vision. T. Lee Vision on YouTube. Thank you so much. It's Side Chick Chronicles. L.A. Reid claims then wife Pebbles did the most after walking in on him and Paula Abdul. Singer's Pebbles may have seemed like Miss Prim and Proper back in the day, but don't let her giddy 80s jam Mercedes fool you. There's apparently a hint of hood in her. Her ex-husband L.A. Reed's recollection of what Pebbles did when she walked in on him and Paula Abdul proves that. In L.A. Reed's book, Sing To Me, he let a whole bunch of cats out of the bag about their past-filled drama marriage. One of them is when L.A. says Pebbles had already suspected something was up between he and Paul Abdul when they worked on the song together. But Pebbles flipped out when she later caught them at his house, so says L.A. Reed. Paula came to my house and it was after midnight. We stood on the balcony listening to Man in the Mirror. The phone rang. It was Pebbles, wanted to know what I was doing. Suddenly, someone was knocking on my door, hard. I opened the door and there was Pebbles, never taking her eyes off me. She walked past me into the kitchen, grabbed a broom, and shattered all my glass furniture. It was like slow motion, tearing-ish up. I smiled and loved it. She never looked at Paula, who was trembling in fear. This is a quote by L.A. Reid. Old girl Paula just could not seem to catch a break. Remember just in our last side chick video, we were talking about when Paula Abdul was cheating with Randy, um, not Randy Jackson, but she was cheating with Jackie Jackson and how Enid, his wife had to come. Enid came up to that movie drive-in theater and she stomped the hell out of Paula Abdul. Pebbles like, look, I'm the side chick of all side chicks, baby. I can see right through you. You was not finna get my man L.A. Reed. Pebbles was not having it. When, when Pebbles came in and did all that mess, L.A. Reed was like, that's my woman. I gotta have her. Something was wrong with L.A. Reed. I'm sorry, bruh. You mean to tell me you can't see there's a bit of cray cray in this woman? That there's something wrong with this woman? And then to top it off, it said a few, a few, what, a couple of weeks or a month later, Pebbles came up in there. She moved, left the husband that she had, moved into the apartment building where he was at, and L.A. Reed and Pebbles end up getting married. So then fast forward, there was also an incident between um, that had happened between Whitney Houston and her as well. So, but Whitney Houston quelled that mess right away. Whitney Houston was like, she let Pebbles know like right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing going on. I don't want your man. Chill out. They actually became very, very close friends and they were in each other's weddings later on in life when Whitney married Bobby and when she married that football player, um, Otis, I believe. So back to Pebbles and L.A. Reed's marriage. So L.A. admits that after they got married that he was constantly, consistently cheating on Pebbles left and right. It is also even rumored that Chili slept with L.A. Reed, allegedly. What I find interesting is this, that all of these women have been side chicks at one point in time in their lives. You can charge it to the game, you can charge it to the industry just rolls like that. I don't know. But here's the thing. Women, we reap what we sow. Ladies, you reap what you sow. Listen, you cannot take somebody else's man. You cannot be seeing somebody else's man sleeping with them knowingly. And I'm talking about females that knowingly step inside and outside of relationships with married men and men who are in committed relationships, fully aware and fully knowing this. You already stepped out of bounds. You have already you have already sown seeds of adultery. You've sown seeds of distrust, mistrust, anger, uh, jealousy. You've sown so much so that when it's time for you, if you should ever get married and or want to be in a real relationship, you are going to reap what you sow and expecting that the relationship you get in later on, that you want that man to be committed and faithful to you. It's not going to happen. Because you are going to reap what you sow. If you sow side chicken, you're going to reap side chicken. You're going to have to walk through the very thing that you did to another woman's husband. Study the lives of these women. 
Study the lives of some of the women around you that you know that have, are professed side chicks. Look at their situations. A lot of women end up not getting married because they have been side chicks for so long. And because they rep what they sold, they can't even get into a good relationship. And they do. It's hell. So my, I'm, I don't mean to harp. I don't mean to complain. It's just I want to warn all females who think that they can do this. Listen, there's a better way. Listen, go to God. Ask God to forgive you. Look within yourselves. Ask what's broken inside of you that have you going the route that you're going. Because this is not this is not God's will for you. His will is for every woman, every man to have their own. One special person. Relationships have been destroyed between husbands and wives. Ch children have been devastated behind some antics of many, many side chicks. If you're listening to me, you're listening to the sound of my voice right now. And you are a side chick. God loves you. He wants to forgive you. You need to ask him to forgive you for all of your trespasses that you have done to so many different families. So many different lives you have destroyed. And you will be held accountable for it. Now Pebbles has since given her life to the Lord. And she's been redeemed. She is being redeemed. She goes by the name of Sister Perry right now. And I, from what I understand, she has an amazing ministry that she's um, working with. And I just, I just know that if God can change her life, and if it's all real for her, he can do the same for you. She is not the same woman that she was yesterday. And she's not the same woman. And God is able. He is so able to forgive all of us. We have not gone so far that God cannot forgive us. So... And I have another special message just for the ladies and the women that have been impacted by side chicks, but I'll do that in the next story. Just know that God can restore and heal families. Pray for your husbands. Pray for your boyfriends. Pray for your sons. Pray for your sons, your nephews. Pray that God would just heal families, cause fidelity to come back, cause faithfulness and covenants, and respect the families that are doing it right. Love on each other the right way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.